Hi guys. How is everybody? Happy Thursday. We are back at it. I'm gonna wait some for some more people to join. Hi, Michelle. Welcome back, everybody. Thursday night special. Pretending it's a morning, though. So, Sweats Gang is a little different today. We are not in sweats, we're in a robe. Oh, Michelle, it's okay. You can always watch it on my page. Everything's saved there. I always shop my collection from there. And yes, everything's saved on the page. Everyone, you can always go onto my page, go to my collections. I have everything saved from the past five weeks now of our shopping ventures. And you'll always find everything there. It's not going anywhere. So... Tonight, as you could tell, we are very barefaced, so please bear with me because I usually have makeup on, and we're pretending it's the morning. Right now, I've convinced myself so much that it's the morning that I'm actually confused that I have to go to bed after this and not go to work, but it's okay because my morning routine that we're going to be doing today is honestly pretty much the same that I do at night as well. Um... Of course, I do some a few extra different steps, but I think it's important to keep your morning and your night routines somewhat consistent um, in terms of like what you're using. If it's something like, for example, some stuff I'm going to show you, um, like eye creams, if you really want them to work, it'll even say like use morning and night. So you want to make sure that you're consistent, not just using a whole different, you know, regimen in the morning and a whole different regimen at night. Your skin's just going to get all bonkers, but we're going to dive into that a little bit more. Um, so let me give it like another two minutes. Let a few more people jump on here while everyone's getting comfy. Um, I'm actually really excited about this because at first I was like, hmm, my morning routine is usually very long and includes like turning my alarm off 10 different times. So I'm like just going to highlight the good parts of it with these amazing products that I have been using to ensure I've incorporated them into my morning routine and I'm obsessed now. We're going to be doing things from charcoal toothpaste to eye cream to allergy and cold saline spray because I'm the queen of allergies over here. So without further ado, I am going to get started because I have quite a few products here. I really want to show all of them because I'm really excited about them. So first things first, when I wake up in the morning, again, after I hit snooze my alarm 10 different times, <laughs> then I will go to the bathroom and wash my face with my face wash, you know, just pat it, um, pat it dry, or I usually shower in the morning. Um, Either way, I follow the same uh, regimen after. So the very first thing I do, and let me get this up here for you guys, is I I think I even said it last week, or maybe it was two, I think it was last week, that my AC bothers me a lot because I have really bad allergies and I have a deviated septum. So it's it gets very clogged, like my left nostril. And when I wake up in the morning, I find it, I mean, I think everyone here, could probably attest to if you have an AC it I don't know what it is about ACs they're the best things ever when it's super hot out but I wake up with a stuffy nose sneezing every morning I don't know if that's like a me issue but I think I've like everyone I've ever spoken to has told me that they wake up the same way maybe I keep it too cold in here I don't know but I found the holy grail of my morning and night help for my nose. So again, like I said, if you're anything like me, you wake up and you're like, could barely breathe. You're stuffy. You're sneezing. 
there's this incredible product from Yucca, and it's a cold and allergy saline spray. No, this is probably like, why is this part of your morning routine? Because I can't breathe in the morning. Because I can't breathe. And I need to be able to breathe. So when I first found this, I was like, sold. I heard cold and allergy. And I was like, done. I'm always getting cold. My allergies are always bad. It's like the best thing. It's a lot easier to use than like, because I always had like prescription, like nasal sprays and stuff. And honestly, those all are a little aggressive on your nose. This is just a saline spray. It is... First of all, it's small, nice and travel size. Um, I'm going to show you a demonstration. This is going to be one of the less glamorous moments of any of my live streams, but it's so easy. So it already has a tilted novel, nozzle, and you just, and then just sniff it in a little, and that's it. And do the other one too. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, yeah, it's great. It's a comforting mist, as it says, helps clear congestion and flushes pollens and dust from nasal and sinus passages. Um, safe to use for kids over five. So if it's safe for children, safe for us. I really like this brand. Um, it was a very unique find. Again, like I said, um, I always kind of have a problem in the morning with my breathing. And also I live in New York City, so there's a lot of pollution. And I think it's really important to be able to breathe. So really, really, really love this. Um, really love this brand. It's also, it's vegan, cruelty-free, non-GMO, preservative-free. And i have becoming, starting to become a lot more conscious about clean products and vegan products. I just feel like they're doing a lot better for not only the environment, but for you. So highly, highly recommend this. Again, just for air conditioning, you don't even have to have cold and allergies. But that air conditioner will get everybody at some point in the morning. I promise. And if not, then you are the 1% of the world. Um, so after I do that, first thing I like to do is go in and brush my teeth. So I'm going to first show you the toothpaste. This is from Kiko. And it is the um, super clean charcoal black mint and coconut oil toothpaste. Okay. A lot of people either love charcoal toothpaste or they hate it. I love it. I always thought it was very cool. I, I think I first got it because I thought it looked cool. But then when I realized that it's like very good for whitening your teeth. Um, I mean, I think that that's a great selling point right there. So I just got this brand new bottle that I brought in here. So I don't have my old messy one. So I'm just going to open this one. So you could see, um, but it's minty, but it's also kind of coconutty because it has coconut oil. Um, I know that sounds like a weird mix, but it's super, ref it's like a very refreshing, okay, here. I didn't want to bring my used one in here. So it it's black. It's definitely black. It's, I'm not, it's a little intimidating if you've never. Oh, okay. Wait. It's back in. We're good. Um, it smells so good. I. Oh my god! It's like minty with like a little subtle hint of like coconut. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, and I'm always about things smelling good and looking good. But Kiko, great brand. Um, so so affordable. I have spent money. You know, when like charcoal was first known as being like a thing you could use on teeth for brighter teeth. I've spent like stupid amounts of money that I've seen like on ads and there's a lot of brands out there now that celebrities endorse this with your 15% off. If you add it to your cart right now, we all need toothpaste. I would hope so. I would hope that everyone is keeping their teeth nice and clean. Um, with your 15% off, you add it to your bag, check out during this live or for up to 30 minutes after you get it for $10 and 20 cents. That is nothing. That's cheaper than the usual Crest regular that I used to buy. So I, this is my second bottle. I have two. My, me and my roommate like fight over it. So that's why I got two. Um, and I ended up getting two, the toothbrushes too, which I'm going to show you. But let me do read that it is teeth whitening toothpaste with activated charcoal and coconut oil. Again, both really, really good for you. Um, again, just like Yuka, vegan, 
fluoride free, no parabens, natural ingredients, non GMO, and a fresh minty flavor. Um, I, I really don't know how else to tell you. It, it tastes good and it smells good. <laughs> like you're not eating it, but it makes you, it really does make your teeth significantly whiter. Um, obviously it's not going to do it overnight. You have to keep up with it. It's a routine, but I think my teeth are pretty white. Um, so this toothpaste and we're going to go in with taking a look at the whole set now that I got from Kiko. So let's take a look. If you're new to trying this brand and you want to start, here's your time to go because it's Again, only $24, really good beginner set. They have a few bundle sets, um, so you don't have to buy different products, and it comes out being cheaper if you buy it as a bundle. The refresh set that I have is $24, and with your 15% off, it comes out to $20.40. Again, nothing. I think I pay $20 for a toothbrush half the time when I go to CVS or Walgreens or something. So, And let me show you how pretty they are. So, again, I bought two roommate. We fight. She wants all my stuff because I just buy the coolest stuff because Fair Shop has the coolest stuff. And I'm not saying that for no good reason. I am just, it's literally war every morning here. So look at the toothbrush. It comes in different colors. I want to say that there was a black one maybe also. I got pink because obviously. Um, so this is mine that I'm using. And then this is the other one that I'm hiding from my roommate. Um, it's so cute. It's a soft charcoal bristles. So look, look how they're like infused in there. How cute. It's like a fancy toothbrush and it's biodegradable. What? Come on. I'm like saving the planet here. Beauty is saving the planet. Beauty and health and everything is, it's amazing. So it's called the Kiko One Good Brush. Biodegradable. And it even says, meet the too cute for words, charcoal twist toothbrush. Hi, Sophia. Oh, hi, Danielle. Pink toothbrush. Hello. I mean, listen, I had a boring Crest brand blue one before this. I saw a pink and I was like, add two to cart. Yes, Danielle, biodegradable. Again, I am like into that. <clears throat> That saline spray. Ooh, just felt it flushing me out. Um, I am very, as I'm getting older, um, I really am more conscious of things and what I'm doing and what I'm putting into the earth and what I'm putting into myself. And I was very happy when I saw that not only is this a super cute and affordable line, it's good for the environment. So again, it's so cute and pretty. I love it. In the morning, it like makes me happy. Um, so in the refresh set, there's that. Then there's the um, floss, which is also coconut oil infused. Oh my God, it smells so good. I don't think I'm going to demonstrate flossing my teeth on here, but <laughs> it's a nice thin. It doesn't get, you know, a lot of um, flosses get kind of like fuzzy. This one doesn't. It just, it smells really good. It's really like good for you because again, we are vegan, natural plant wax, coconut oil, and natural coconut aroma. So, um, what, you remember? Yeah, pop the, and then, oh, and when you're completely out, just pop the case into the recycling bit, bin. That's a win for us and our planet. So, love this, tastes good, smells good. I swear I wake up in the morning and then combined with like my perfume and stuff, I'm like, oh, I'm going to the beach even when I'm going to work. Um, and then the last item that comes in the refresh set is the tongue scraper. I don't know about you guys. So a lot of people, which is surprising to me because it was something growing up I just always knew about, didn't know like about like that most of your bacteria is on your tongue. So now people are starting to figure that out, I guess. I always had like a tongue scraper when I was little, I don't know if my parents were just like freaks about oral hygiene, but I always had like a tongue scraper and that's what I would always do before. Um, 
and I've actually seen a few, not a lot, honestly, at all companies starting to come out with these in the past few years. But again, so affordable. Kiko, this is like my new favorite thing. It's copper. Look how pretty that is. I'm all about aesthetics, guys. Don't we know this? Um, but basically results in better oral hygiene by aiding digestion, preventing cavities and plaque and livening up taste buds and fresher breath. So things taste better. You, your tongue tastes better. So if you're going to go in order of the system, what you first want to do is take your, uh, floss, get out anything stuck between your teeth. I know we all sometimes have late night pasta. You might forget to brush your teeth sometimes, wake up in the morning, got to get it out clean. We do not want gum diseases. We don't want cavities. I've had one cavity in my whole life and I'm very upset by it. So you're going to go clean those teeth out. Then you're going to take your tongue scraper and you just and pull it down, rinse it off, rinse it with warm water, keep it somewhere. I just keep it. I dry it off, keep it right in my um, mirror cabinet. And then of course you're going to go in with your double charcoal, minty, coconutty, fresh, charcoal toothpaste with your beautiful charcoal bristle toothbrush and there you go it's like a little beach minty party clean in your mouth no germs no bacteria we are we really have to make sure that we have good teeth all we have is our health and people have seem to forget about like oral hygiene sometimes like some some one of my friends was like why do you have so many steps to your <laughs> why don't you just brush your teeth and i'm like no 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 gum disease no cavities here we are sticking with health and wealth so those so far was the kiko refresh set um the kiko charcoal and my ever popular yucca saline spray i could breathe do you hear i could breathe <laughs> And all my friends always make fun of me because I broke my nose a few years ago. So my left nostril is just completely clogged, deviated septum. And this, I'm at, it actually helps me breathe. And it's not as like harsh as a lot of nasal sprays that I've been prescribed that you find in stores. Um, next thing I want to do so I can put it on while I show you guys. After I do that, I usually like to <clears throat> put on like a, maybe a little face mask, like a five minute face mask. And I'll go in with these incredible. I'm all about making my eyes feel good in the morning. These are the Patchology Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. They are, you only have to wear them for five minutes. So I got the one that I has, I think it has 30 in here. You only have to put one, yeah, and leave on for five minutes. It makes your eyes feel so cool. So it comes with this cute little like spoony thing so because they're very thin. So that's what they look like. And you just spoon one out. And what I really like about this is that they come with, oh my God, they're so nice and cool. Also, again, because my AC is bumping up in here. So, oh my God, they feel so good. And I do these at night too, guys. So this is, I know it's my morning routine, but like I was saying, I do this in the morning and at night because I'm trying to get rid of these dark circles because was born with them and then I also like have a hard time sleeping so I need all the help I could get in the mornings so first of all oh they just they feel so good so what I like about this um specific brand and maybe just this product um I've only used their eye mask this is like my third time I think buying from them eye masks um uh, I decided to just go for the big one this time because it's very very affordable if you want to just start off with a few um, you can get them for twelve seventy five with your fifteen percent off. If not, they are fifteen dollars. Um, so what I like is that they right now it's working against me. They're very slippery because they do pack a lot of the serum into the jar, which I like because there's been times again I am like a beauty junkie. Usually, if I have extra, I rub it on my hands because back of your hands. You could always tell someone's age by the back of their hands. That's what one of my old bosses told me. I don't know if she was just saying that because she wanted me to use more lotion or something. But um, I really, really love that they really pack this with serum because my little trick is at the end 
like when you run out of all your patches, you could go in there with your fingers and just use some of that incredible moisturizing stuff or take um, from like CVS or something. If you get just like the cotton ones, dip it in and let it, it's like reusing the, the all that goodness. But these feel really good. And look, you can't even see them. They look like I'm glowing. So I'm going to leave those on for five minutes. Sometimes I leave them on for like 10 um, whenever I could possibly make these bags go away. But usually I'll leave those on. So I brush my teeth. We'll leave these on. Um, I like to put them sometimes, like I said, over like a little face mask. Um, or if I'm just letting my skin sit while I start to like do my hair or something, which this is how my hair is in the morning. So I'm really going full swing into what I look like in the morning, guys. Highly apologize because it's not pretty. Um, but I let these sit and they just feel so cool. I think this is what I have to say. My thing with eyes is I know from years of working in beauty and just my genetics that when you have, some people are just naturally predisposed to dark eyes and then also if like we don't have good sleep, you can never get rid of them even with like fillers and stuff, they're never going to go away, but there's so many things out there that people buy. Cause they promise that you're going to, you know, Oh, your eyes will be completely less puffy and have no dark circles by tomorrow. Not true, but there are some stuff that do help aid it. And you could tell a noticeable difference. This is one of them. I'll actually even put these on before I do my makeup sometimes. Like even if, like if I'm going out, um, I'll just leave them on while I'm getting ready then I'll go in with my concealer and stuff. So again, oh, it's starting to slide because I put a little too much of that extra, extra sauce on it. Um, but if you're going to buy eye creams and stuff, just always keep in mind, there's no magic cure. Um, I spent, I've spent weight and I still do. I still fall victim to it. Cause I'm like, maybe this one will work. I know it's not going to magically transform me, but it's going to help it. It's going to make it less obvious your eyes less puffy a little less dark um but there is no magic cure unfortunately but i do have now weeded out the stuff that doesn't work at all and then the stuff that i could actually notice difference like these i again they feel really good oh, i could like leave these on sometimes i actually yesterday i left them on by accident for way too long and i was like What's, what's like going on in my eyes? I was like, I feel something in my eyes. Totally forgot that they were on because they're so, they're so thin. They feel really, really good. So I will take them off in another two minutes. Um, and then I'm going to go in and show you guys my eye cream here. So this is from another beautiful new brand, anti-aging and firming, um, Fleur and B. Another gorgeous top like i'm just all about look at the aesthetics of everything to have you ever seen such pretty products like shout out to companies packaging and what even these are super chic and sleek and not thick and cute um everything's really pretty so this is fleur and b it's called eyes eyes baby and yes um, it did take me a few minutes saying that out loud to not say ice, ice, baby. Um, but this, again, I keep the little top on it so it doesn't get off like and fall everywhere. Um, so this is one of those ones that, it's a great eye cream, also smells really good. Everything I buy just smells good. Um, great eye cream. So it's anti-aging and firming. I always think that, I mean, like I said, I've been using eye creams for a very long time because since I'm younger, I have very naturally dark circles and puffy eyes, but I do know that they say you should start using an eye cream in your twenties. So I use all the eye creams and this is my latest favorite little trick. Um, I like to keep it in the fridge so it's nice and cold. So Trust me, when you wake up in the morning, hit your eyes with some of this, these patchologies, a little cool. They're super cooling. Then go in with your cool cream. You'll, you'll wake up. 
you'll wake up at least a little bit. So you want to just rub in before I put that cream back on, just rub in the rest of all that good firming serum from the patches. Just slide them right off. Oh, this feels so good. You want to be very light handed when you do this and when you rub cream in because your um, the skin under your eyes is super, super thin and it stretches very easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw these out. Um, so now with my cream, so see how it's just like dewy looking. I like to just cool it with my hands so it kind of like dries fast. This feels really good. I mean, really, really love these. Um, then I'm going to go with my amazing Fleur and B cream, Eyes, Eyes, Baby. Just going to take a little, 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 like a little goes a long way with this. It's thin. It's not a thick consistency. So even that is like, honestly, a little too much. This is going to last forever. So you should be using your ring finger, but I grabbed with the wrong finger. It's his life. I just want to softly go around. I like to go, I don't know if you're supposed to go over your eyelids, but I need all the help I can get with the crow's feet, the under eye circles, and then just kind of pat it in gently. Not too harsh. Voila. And this also, like I said, if you put this in the fridge, oh, it feels so good. I just took it out of the fridge before. It feels amazing in the mornings, especially when it's just like you're exhausted and it's impossible to get up. And honestly, a lot of the times during the week, I don't wear makeup to work. So I like that these this cream and everything that I use in the morning kind of just gives you like a dewy look. Like it kind of looks like I have a highlighter on. And then I'll go in and finish with my moisturizer and sunscreen. Sunscreen, I cannot emphasize the importance of it enough. I've been wearing sunscreen even when it's cloudy and it's raining every single day. You have to go in with sunscreen. That's how J-Lo stays looking young. She said it multiple times. Just trust me. Um... But I love it. So that's the Eyes Eyes Baby again. Let me show you that. Eyes Eyes Baby by Fleur and B. $22. Shop it for 15% off. What? Do you want 15% off? Great. Add it to your bag. Check out. You're up to 30 minutes from when this ends. Because we're all about those discounts. Saving, saving, saving this year. Manifesting savings everywhere. And I'm your manifesting queen giving you savings. So... I will have everything in my collection under uh, my morning routine on my page. And I just really don't take beauty and skincare and stuff lightly. So I promise you guys, as always, I am wholeheartedly selling these to you because I do never, I never want to mislead anyone. That's why I was completely honest about the eye thing. Our eyes will never be perfect. Um, but look, it, they look so much brighter, even from a few minutes ago, right? Just say, right, make me feel better. Because I see it. <laughs> if you notice a difference, that's all that matters. And then look, I have a nice little glow from that Eyes Eyes Baby, which smells so, so, so good. And again, that's another one that um, treat yourself in the morning and at night. Like I said in the beginning of this, um, Morning and night, it's very important to be consistent with your routines. Try to stick to those same um, prime items like my saline spray, my toothpaste, obviously, my eye cream. Uh, we we want to be healthy and thriving and looking great. So thank you guys for getting ready in the morning with me. Again, I'm so confused because it is nighttime. <laughs> I'm not going to work after this, which is ooh, fantastic. But I hope you guys all have fun. Um, next week, my Sweats Gang, we are doing a Sweats Gang shopping live stream. Let's go. I am the queen of sweats. If there's anything in this world that I know more than anything, it is about sweats. Sweatpants, sweatshirts, socks, you name it. So next Thursday, 10.30 p.m., meet me on my bed virtually because I only have a full-size bed. 
So don't all come over at once. All right. I will see you guys all next week. Have an incredible, beautiful weekend. And I love you all. Thank you for joining. Mwah.